Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the Crystal Fonts USB version of their 634 model LCD. What is included in this package is a 6 foot USB cable, 4 screws and the LCD. This product is exactly the same as their standard 634 version 2 model, except of course this one is USB cable. You can go ahead and connect this to your PC using this USB cable, plug this end into the LCD, then go ahead and plug this end into your PC. Once you have that done, go ahead and install the drivers and the software, and you can start using the product. This particular LCD uses a material known as Film Compressed Super Twisted Pneumatic, and what that essentially gives you is better contrast, better response, and an overall all around more readable display. The display as well gives you the ability to store customized boot screens of your very own design. It can display very useful characters, numeric superscripts, icons, mathematical symbols, and so on. And with the software you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, you can do things like scrolling text and so on. This as well has a single bore construction which means no connectors to fail. And as you can see here it's a pretty big unit and it fits into two five and a quarter inch bays. This product is essentially plug and play but the first thing you want to do is go to their website at www.crystalfonts.com. While you're there go ahead download the drivers as well as the software. Now once you've done that go ahead plug this into your USB port. Once you've done that, it will then prompt you to install the driver. Go ahead and do that. Then go ahead and go to your device manager. In here, you'll see it listed under ports. And remember what port it is, and in this case, it's COM4. Remember that because you're going to need to know it in the configuration software. Now this is the software and you go ahead into the configure module part of the software and then go ahead select the particular model in this case it's the Crystal Fonts 634 and then go ahead and select the interface type. Now remember it's COM4. The interface speed in this case is 19,200 and the LCD columns is 20 and the LCD rows is 4 and you can also fool around with the character contrast here as well as the backlit brightness and you have other hotkeys down here for next screen, previous screen and so on. Once the unit is all configured and working properly you'll need to add a screen. Now adding a screen is very simple you can do it over here you can remove a screen you can also configure a screen and once you have multiple screens here you can then alternate between those screens and you can set the time that you have on each screen. Down here is a settings button and this is for different things like your email addresses if you have a game server you'll need to enter the server IP address and there's all kinds of other things for instance the motherboard monitor temperature scale whether it be Celsius or Fahrenheit SETI at home settings and so on and so forth. Now let's go back to setting up a new screen. I have already one set up here but I'll go into that one and we'll give you some idea how to go about doing this. You have four different lines and remember you only have 20 characters per line so if you have any more than 20 you're going to need to go ahead and click on scroll and now all that will do will scroll the text right across the LCD unit. Now this is only text here. The first line for example I have www.3dgameman.com second line kickass, the third line video reviews comma and the fourth line news and forums dot dot dot. This is just simple text. Nothing more than just simple basic text. Once that's done go ahead and say OK. Once you've had that it will save. Now you can go on and add another screen. This screen is a little bit more complicated. I have all the hard drives listed as well as the space that's left on each of them in gigabytes as well as the memory I have left, the time of day and the date. Now how did I do this? Well, you've got these selections down here at the bottom left hand corner. You can incorporate programs like Winamp in here to display the track name, the track time, track bit rate, and so on. Maybe you want to have motherboard monitor monitoring your system temperature, your CPU temperature, and so on. And there's all kinds of other options in here. But let me just show you, for instance, how I got the memory left. There's a section here called memory usage. You've got all kinds of different options. You can go ahead, for example, here and select physical percent remaining. 
and down at the bottom right hand corner this will pop in. Copy this up into the line, whichever line you want to, and go ahead and paste it. Now once that's done, you have the megabytes left in memory. Very, very simple to do. And remember, if your line is too long, if it goes inside 20 characters, which you can see here, my first line clearly does, it's very, very long. I'll go ahead then click on scroll, it will scroll that on the LCD. You have other options here like bounce the text, you can as well center the text, and as well you can set the speed here on the right hand side. So you can see here it's very simple to set up both simple screens and even more complicated ones using their free software. And when the product is installed into your two five and a quarter inch base, it does look very cool. This LCD is a little different than most because it has 20 characters per line, but there are four lines, and it takes up two five and a quarter inch base, and this product is USB, so that means it's very easy to install. The software as well with this makes it extremely simple to get this up and running within minutes. Overall, this product is kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums. If you haven't already registered, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.